Hey friends, welcome to this very special episode of Bing Talks. In today's video, I'm gonna rank your favorite celebrities Chinese. Are you ready? Let's get in. So the first video clip is from Jensen Huang, the CEO and founder of NVIDIA. We from this video clip alone, the vocabulary he used is thing average. There is not major grammar mistakes and the pronunciation and tones are mostly correct. Overall, I think Jin Sun Huang's Chinese is not bad. So in his first sentence, he said, 我们大家讲话讲一半英文一半中文好吗? To me, it feels a little bit weird because as a native speaker, I would say rather, 我们一半说中文一半说英文好吗? Can we talk half in Chinese and half in English, okay? And then he continued and said, 我五岁离开台湾, 我们去泰国. The grammar overall is okay, but I think he can improve on the detail by saying, 我五岁离开了台湾, 我们去了泰国. And then he continues, 去泰国差不多四五年. He has made a grammar mistake in this sentence. I know he wants to express that he has stayed in Thailand for four to five years. So it should be, 我在泰国待了四五年. And then he continues, at around age 9 to 10, we moved to the United States. He said, 我们就去美国, but it should be, 我们就去了美国. And then he says, we had no choice because Thailand wasn't stable politically. Um, overall, I think the difficulty of his expression is average. He made some minor grammar mistakes, but I still get his point. The pronunciation, tones, and rhythm of the speech is good. So overall, I would rate his Chinese probably 6 out of 10. Yeah, so let's move on to the second one. So the second one is from Lisa Su, the CEO of AMD. This is a video of her making a speech publicly. Let's have a look. 大家好。我很高兴今天能过来阳明交通大学。this clip is very short. There's really not much to say about it because the expression is very basic. The first sentence, 大家好, which basically means hi everyone. It's an expression that everybody can learn in a few minutes. So I focus on the second sentence. She said, 我很高兴今天能够来阳明交通大学. Today I'm very happy to be here at Yangming University. The vocabulary is basic, so is the grammar. Although she hasn't made any mistakes, but considering the difficulty is very low, I wouldn't rate her Chinese level very high. Also, there was some issue with the rhythm of her speech. She said, 我很高兴今天能够来阳明交通大学. It just feels weird because as a native speaker, we will say, 我很高兴今天能够来阳明交通大学. So, 阳明交通大学 is a word group. It shouldn't be 阳明交通大学, but rather 阳明交通大学. Do you get it? Moreover, it seems like she's reading from a script while speaking, so this further reduced the difficulty of her speech. So overall, I would rate her Chinese probably 3 out of 10. Yeah, 3 out of 10. Alright, let's move on. So the third clip is from the famous wrestler John Cena. Let's see how he does. 我非常感谢你为我去你的坚守节目因为最好的观众最好的主人漂亮的来宾我希望你看到Total Wow, I think that's impressive John Sanna's Chinese. From this few sentences, I can see the effort he put in learning Chinese. So obviously, he's not reading from a script, and I can see how confident he is when speaking. So vocabulary and grammar he used is average. There are a few mistakes he made. So the first sentence he said is, 非常高兴你为我去你的电视节目. Thank you very much for inviting me to your show. It should be, 非常感谢你邀请我来到你的节目. Then he continues, best audience, best host. He said, 最好的主人. Oh, 主人 is not host. Host is actually 主持人. 
and the rest are all very good. I think overall John Cena's Chinese is pretty good. However, his pronunciation needs some work、uh, because I can clearly tell he's a foreigner given the audio alone. The rhythm is mostly okay, but the tones I can tell is not very authentic. But still, I can understand it very well.、Um, overall, I would rate John Cena's Chinese seven out of ten. Yeah, seven out of ten. All right, let's move on to the next one. So, the fourth clip is from Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Another famous wrestler.、Uh, let's see how he does. Let the Rock tell you in Chinese. Uh oh. Chinese. Ding bang, ding dong, he don't go aye. Wait, what? Ah,、uh, let me watch it one more time. No way. No way. That's Chinese. Um, I don't know. Is that a joke or something? As a native speaker, I can't even hear a single Chinese character. Perhaps it's just a joke. So,、um, so this is a zero. Let's move on to the fifth. The fifth clip is from John Huntsman, American politician.、Uh, let's see how he does. 每一天早上，我很早就开始这个语言语言学习。啊、uh, ，过了两年，我的中文就是讲的不错了。自到中国大陆。就是一九八四年，二十年以前，那个时候我就是跟里根总统一起工作，我在白宫里面工作。Oh my god, that's very impressive. Um, I think he speaks the best Chinese so far in today's video. Um,、mm. his expression is very confident and also natural to me. Yeah, the vocabulary he used as well as his grammar is very good. Um, I can hear some accent, but just to a small extent. Yes, I can. I can tell he's a foreigner hearing the audio, but I think it's pretty good. And、uh, there's no much I can comment on this one. There are no noticeable mistakes in his Chinese. So overall, I would give him eight out of ten. Yes. Let's move on to the next one. Well, our next Chinese-speaking celebrity is Ricky Rubio. A Spanish basketball player. Let's see how he does. Wuhan, Gaoxing, Yao Xi, Zongwu. You 最想尝试的食物是什么？我很想吃北京烤鸭。你最想去哪个城市？我想去香港看微电影。你最喜欢的中国女演员是谁？我喜欢张子怡，因为她很漂亮。Um, <laughs> this one's interesting. The first thing come to me is is the rhythm of his speech. It's very robotic. It's very、um, unnatural. So it seems like he's reading from a script behind a camera. The pronunciation tones are very foreigner-like. There isn't many issue in vocabulary and grammar because he's reading from a script. I don't know how long he has studied Chinese, but this to me feels like maybe a week, maybe a few days. Anyway, I think it feels like he has rehearsed for this interview several several times, and、uh, he's unable to speak in Chinese freely. So I would rate his Chinese probably three out of ten. Entry level, yes. Let's move on to the next one.、And、then here comes the famous Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, or should I say Meta? Anyway, let's see how he does. Right. 上个月我刚我们刚刚啊招聘了二十位啊中国的学生。Um, his expression is very natural, and I can tell he has studied Chinese for not a short time. I think overall his Chinese level is pretty good. I know Mark's wife is Asian American or Chinese American specifically. So he has advantage on learning Chinese because he needs to communicate with her and also her families. 
But despite this, he must have put a lot of effort in learning Chinese.、Um, I can understand all his sentences. The vocabulary he used is pretty good, and、uh, the pronunciation are also good,、uh, although the tones are slightly off and foreigner-like.、Um, what else? The speech is not very coherent. It's not very continuous, but he made his point clear. And his Chinese is good enough for normal conversation scenario, so I would rate his Chinese six point five seven, probably seven seven out of ten.、Uh, all right, let's move on to the next one. So our next Chinese speaking celebrity is Emmanuel Macron, the French president. Let's see how he does. Jean Titio, Tsai Tsu, Wei Da. Unfortunately, this clip is way too short. It's just one sentence. He said, "Ran the chill." Zai Zi Wei Da. I'm not sure the first few words he said. The Ran the chill Zai Zi Wei Da, making the earth great again. Or let me replay it.、Um, I still don't know the first three words. It should be Ran the chill Zai Zi Wei Da. Making the earth great again, but his pronunciation feels very French, very foreigner-like. So basically, I think he pronounced the first three characters as French,、mm, and obviously he's reading from a script which has been prepared in advance. It's very hard to evaluate his real Chinese ability. From this video clip alone, I cannot make the conclusion that he has studied Chinese for a while. So. I will rate his Chinese probably three out of ten. All right, let's move on to the last one. This one is from Australian politician Kevin Rudd. Let's see how he does. We, two countries' political system is not the same. Uh, our political values are also not the same. So, of course, in these different views, I don't know if any country agrees with another country. 百分之百的共同的看法。嗯，澳大利亚跟中国是一样的，但是如果只是那个双边关系的背景呢 ？Oh, I think this is so far the best Chinese-speaking celebrity in this video. Um, his expression is very, very natural, and I can see he's very confident in speaking Chinese, and the way he speaks Chinese very diplomatic, very elegant, and 